So in Matthew 5, 7, Jesus says, Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Now, depending upon where we're coming from and the context in which we hear this word, uh, mercy can mean a couple of different things, right? For some of us, maybe when we hear the word, it automatically brings us back to when we were kids and playing that game of strength where the word mercy and uncle were pretty much synonymous for one another. Or maybe it brings you back to, you know, uh, when you were in high school or college and you took uh, French or maybe just when you watched a French movie and you found out that the word mercy is synonymous with the word thank you or, or that's how they would say thank you in French. But when Jesus is talking about mercy here, though we do absolutely receive it from someone greater than us uh, before we give it. And though it is something that we should ultimately be thankful for, the mercy that he's actually talking about is much different. As mercy biblically can be defined as not getting what we deserve. Now, before you think, well, that's a bad thing, right? That's a bad thing. Well, there are contexts in which that could be a very bad thing, such as, you know, if you didn't get your paycheck when, when you deserved a paycheck, right? So that, that would be a bad thing. But in the context and the story of the Bible, this is a very, very good thing. As the Bible tells us that all of us have sinned and fallen short of God's glory, and the wages or the rightful payment for that is death and judgment for what we've done. But rather than having to receive the just payment for our sin, God sends Jesus. And as 2 Corinthians 5.21 tells us in doing this, God made Christ, who had never sinned, to be an offering for our sin so that you and I could be made right with God. Friends, this is great news as because of Christ, we no longer have to pay this just payment for sin because he's already done that in our place. Instead, we get to be declared and clothed with the righteousness of Jesus himself. So in getting mercy and not getting what we deserve in this context, uh, man, that is a very good thing. Jesus says, man, it is so good that it is only fitting for such a person who has received this to also show this kind of mercy to others. And Jesus actually beautiful, beautifully illustrates this, this fact in the parable of the unforgiving de debtor found in Luke. Now, with this verse, though, you might say, well, I'm tracking with you up to this point, but now I'm wondering, is Jesus saying here that, you know, mercy and getting mercy from him, a prerequisite is that we have to show mercy, right? Is that what he's saying? To which the answer is a resounding no. But what I do think Jesus is saying is that those who are merciful, right? Uh, the, those who are merciful are the ones that will receive mercy from God because their mercy towards others is actually showcasing that they've understood and have received the gift of mercy from God already, right? So, so because they've received it, and now they're giving it. Contrastly, or contrarily, to those who are completely unwilling to give mercy to others, you know, that showcases instead that they either don't understand the gospel or yet to fully recognize their need for and so is mercy, getting mercy from God, uh, is there a prerequisite of giving mercy? No. But again, it shows, uh, man, the way that we give mercy, whether we've received it or not. All right. Well, God bless you guys. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.